Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this video, I am going to dabble with Microsoft Bing Chat. I just got into the beta, and I'm just looking at it for the first time. I, I, I did try it on my mobile device, though, for a little bit, my iPhone. Um, so, for starters, I, I signed up for the beta, which required me or uh, asked me to um, set my default browser or my default search page to, to Bing, which I did. I had it previously set to Google. I was using Google Chrome, and uh, so I had to install a um, like a, a Chrome uh, Chrome plugin for to do that. And what else did I have to do? Um, I had to download the iOS app, or it prompted me to download the iOS app. So my, my first impression is that you you, you got to do a, a lot once you get on the the, the wait list, um, and so. I got through that, got an email saying that I'm in, and so the first thing that I did is I went to my browser here, and this is Chrome that we're looking at right now, and went to chat here. Um, but I get prompted now to download Microsoft Edge. So um, so I did that. Uh, I, I didn't look to see if there's any way to, to use this in Chrome. I'm not understanding why that wouldn't be possible because I use ChatGPT in Chrome. So um, I guess at this point I'm, I'm feeling like this is a, a, a push to get you using their browser, um, which is fine. I'll look into whether or not I can get around that at some future point. But for, for now, I downloaded Microsoft Edge and that's where I am right now. So downloaded Microsoft Edge. I uh, got to this page and um, went to join the waitlist, which I already did. And that brings me here, which tells me I'm in, but I don't see anything here that lets me get started. So it's, it's a little bit confusing. I see set Microsoft defaults, but this doesn't have anything to do with Bing chat. So where do I go from here? I'm not quite sure, actually. This is not a link. Um, all right. All right, uh, I'm back to Bing, I guess chat maybe. Yeah, here I am. <laughs> okay. Uh, so now I'm in Bing chat. Let me see what is different about this year. AI powered copilot for the web. AI powered copilot, is that like GitHub copilot? Um, so I use that also, and I also have chat GPT. So what makes this different from just going to chat GPT. How is Bing, Bing chat different from just using chat GPT? Seems like a good first question. Assume right now it's making API calls and whatnot. It's kind of kind of slow, chat GPT just starts typing out immediately so you know something's happening or close to immediately anyhow. Bing Chat is an AI powered chatbot that can answer your questions in chat. Various topics, unlike chat GPT and other AI chatbots, Bing Chat takes context into account. It can understand your previous conversations fully, synthesize information from multiple sources and understand for phrasing. Uh, chat GPT does that as well, I believe. So. Um, let me try. I'm gonna make this a. Uh, I'm gonna make this a video. So why don't I try to write a YouTube or a video about my first experience with Bing Chat. Let's see what it comes up with for my description for this YouTube video. I'm going to post this on YouTube. Here's a possible YouTube description for your video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my first experience with Bing Chat, the new AI chatbot from Microsoft that can answer questions. Watch the video and see how Bing Chat impressed me with its intelligence, humor, and personality. You'll also see how it cited sources. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Ah, this isn't bad. All right. Um, what should I call this? What should the title be?
this isn't clear to me that it's actually working. I see this stop responding, but it's there's it seems like a much longer delay than I experienced with ChatGPT. Here's some possible titles for your video. I tried Bing Chat for the first time, and this is what happened. Bing Chat blew my mind. You know, I think I'll go with the first one for right now. I'm not sure, uh, at least relative to ChatGPT, my mind is being blown. I wonder what is different. I need to research that a little bit more um, because I think all of these points here, I can understand your previous conversation fully. Maybe I should, these are, yeah, these are contextual links. Uh, let's see what one of them is. It's very nice to big chat links. Special link links. Only GPT, chat GPT, and other edge. Big chat takes context into account. Um, I'm pretty sure chat GPT does that as well. It looks at the previous responses to, I need to, I need to spend more time to understand if this is, um, is different. Let's see. Hmm. I'll do that. I won't waste time on this video trying to understand that, but I will take more time to understand whether or not that is different from ChatGPT. Chat GPT. So um, at this point, I guess my impression is that I don't immediately see a difference between ChatGPT, but I could be wrong. Uh, I'm not loving the fact that it sort of forced me into using uh, the Edge browser and, and all the other, what I kind of feel like are hoops. And getting to this point wasn't super intuitive. I mean, it wasn't hard, but um, I don't know, my, my first impression on a scale of one to 10, I don't know, um, I guess relative to ChatGPT. If ChatGPT wasn't out, this would be incredibly cool because ChatGPT is incredibly cool. But I'm not immediately seeing a, uh, a difference or why I would uh, be compelled to use Bing over Google at this point. So that is, that's my whatever summary for however long I've spent with it. And literally it's only been a day. So to, to be fair, uh, I'm going to spend more time and try to better understand if there is a, a reason that I'm missing here. But hopefully this was helpful. Uh, let me know if I've missed something in the comments. If you are using Bing Chat and you know something that I don't, I would love to hear from you. Thanks so much.